Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming at you with another beer review and World of Tanks gameplay. Today we're reviewing Chamberlain Pale Ale by Shipyard Brewing Company. This is a 4.9% ABV English style pale ale. It's got tones of earth, a little bit of soapiness, and some grass with a slightly sweet background aroma. The appearance is honey colored, verging on amber beer with a thin off-white head. Overall, the flavor was a delicate balance of biscuit, lemon zest, and earthy bitterness. The mouthfeel was light to medium light, almost fluffy with carbonation. Overall, this is a very good English-style pale ale. It's a little bit reminiscent of Boddington's Pub Ale, but with significantly more flavor and personality. As I should probably form a rating scale of some type, I think I'll leave it at saying I would definitely drink this one again. Can't wait to get into some gameplay. We got a chaffy game for you. Alright guys, we've got a chaffy game for you today here on Swamp. Um, we're kind of outmatched. We don't have a really great team. We've got a good artillery, um, a couple a couple decent mediums with us, but you know, I think one, one of our TDs is pretty decent. But uh, I'm bottom tier in the chaffy, tier 7 match on Swamp, and we're going to go over here and try to spot first. We've only got one heavy tank. And their top heavy tank is an IS-2. He's top tier. Our heavy is a Churchill 7 and he's mid tier so that's not the greatest matchup for that but fortunately heavies don't matter too much on this one. MT25 spotted we're gonna try and miss really badly on that shot I was probably spotted so I'm gonna just move and keep going. Ketolite tanks if you shoot and you're not double bushed you should probably get RE safe just a thought. MT25 spotted again it might have been a different one yeah it was a different one okay but we have uh, five light tanks on our team. They have three on their team, so it's kind of crazy how many lights there are on this particular game. Um, I'm just waiting for something good to happen. This T34 or Type T34 is kind of yellowing in against the Leopard and the T37, so we're going to see if we can help at all. Um, I really don't want to get hurt for helping though, and got a shot in. Shot on the Cromwell. Ooh, IKV 103 trying to get me. And our spotting gets him killed. I love it when that happens. Type T34 doesn't like me helping. So I'm going to try to go over to this side. Ooh. Cromwell's over here, though. And we're going to try to juke him. Ooh, but we're hit by the Jackson. Our driver's dead. We repair our driver because your driver is kind of life in a light tank and we're gonna run away for a little bit because I'm one shot to quite a few things now fortunately it's a relatively low tier game so it's not like I'm one shot to everybody but still our Cromwell's taking care of that MT25 he's doing a pretty good job AT2 and ELC are over here trying to push up that way to get some work done on the MT25 and the Shigoda T24 and here's the MT25 our ELC hits him, and we're able to finish him off. The ram did a lot of damage to that guy, but this other MT-25 is over here as well, and we really don't want him to feel free to push on our T-67 and both our artilleries, so we're just going to play it kind of gentle. Our Churchill 7 decided to do the smart thing and stay back towards base and play defensively, which is great considering A, he's slow, and B, he's only mid-tier. Go to T24, finished off by the Cromwell B. MT25 spotted. We're going to try to get a shot or two into this guy without. Oop, nope, he ran around. AT2 is getting hit. I'm going to run ahead of the AT2 and see if I can spot for this guy. So here we go. Trying to use the terrain to my advantage. Keeping in close to stuff. We're going to move up. Nothing there. Don't see anything over there. Pulling back. I don't have six cents on this tank. Really, really wish I did, but we're going to push forward a little bit. The score is still seven to six. Um, so half of each team, actually more than quite a bit more than half for them. Uh, but we're going to see if we can get some spots from over here. See if we can crap on RD. Because, you know, oh, there we go. We spotted the M41 HMC. Going to back up. He's got horrible view range, and my shots fall short. Second shot goes long. Third shot's a hit. There we go. And he decides to start moving and make it easier to hit him. And so we say thank you and kill him. 
IS-2, I just spotted him. He's obviously spotted me, and we bounce. Fortunately, he completely whiffs his shot into the hill, because, you know, IS-2s are known for their accuracy, so that makes perfect sense. Jackson spotted as well. That's the guy that hit me earlier, and we're just going to keep running away, because I want people to shoot that Jackson. I think I deserve a little revenge, you know. Alright, so Jackson's unspotted. IS-2 has been spotted, I think, by our AT-2, um, which is not the best. Uh, the Nassorn, I spotted him. Hopefully I didn't get spotted by him. He moves around the corner, and looks like he's coming back, though, so we're going to see if we can get some shots on this guy. And we spot him for our buddies. But the Jackson's also behind us, which we don't like, so... Oop, there he is, and he's not pointed our way. No shots on, on target on that one, but... Hey, every shot you don't take, you miss. So, I'm going to push up here and see if I can keep this Jackson and this IS-2 spotted. Oh, one good shot. I can't believe that went through because the armor on the Jackson is decent. He's coming down. He really wanted me, and I tried to bait him into it, but he's backing up, backing up, and I'm going to have to move up and try to mess with him again. So... He's still on 173 hit points. It takes a minimum of two shots for us to kill him at that. So we're just going to try to keep him spotted. Our buddies are putting shots in. Ooh, artillery puts a shot in. I'm coming over to keep him spotted. And artillery, second time. Gotta love it. Keeping him spotted, always good. Mr. Winchester over there, trying to come around and flank me to kill me. I didn't appreciate it, so I'm going to run away. Because he's slow, and I'm not. Oop, Crusader SP running up the hill. I'm going to try to get some shots on this guy. Anytime you can take an Artie out, always a good day. I'm missing these shots on the move. I didn't expect to be hitting any of them, but hey, if you don't take the shots, a lot of auto aim. I'm really bad at aiming while I'm on the move. Oh, we've got a friend up here at a T67 who's putting a shot in, and I am apparently derping out really hard. I think, I think that replay... Or that was either a replay bug or it was lag and I can't remember which but oh I'm missing all these shots or barely tagging his tracks there we go finally got him their other artillery is trying to kill me but from that shot I'm pretty sure he's still down by the flag area um, it's just the uh, Lorraine 155 and the IS-2, they're probably just hanging out by the cap, so I'm going to go see if I can do some spotting for these guys, and so far, really, already at 900 damage, almost 650 at assistance damage, not too shabby, but it's about to get a little better, so we're going to come down this way and see if we can use the terrain, because this always makes it harder for artillery to hit us, and Lorraine spotted going to try to move over and get some shots. we got to get past this little sandbar first. There we go. Shot one missed. Shot two. Hit. And he's pushed down into the water to apparently French up and drown himself. And we're going to have to... We're almost out of AP. Oh, there's a good hit. Um, can't auto-aim. Waiting for it. I'm switching to APCR because I can't seem to pen this guy and I don't have a great angle on his side or anything. Just going to keep him spotted mostly and shot into the side of his turret. That's good. Critical hit. I wonder what I did, but here we go. He's coming our way, so we're going to... Oh, we were going to get out of there, but that's the game. Let's go check out the stat. So here we are. Ace tanker, spotter, lots of damage done, and lots of damage spotted for top on xp earned for the match 1235 base 1111 damage done myself i'm glad we were able to get that jackson out of the game if i hadn't been able to spot for everybody else that guy would probably have been a major thorn in my side so really glad to get that guy out detailed report says 28 shots fired i did do a lot of shooting on the move um, a lot of auto aim that kind of stuff so only 16 hit and of those 16 being bottom tier with a um somewhat anemic gun 12 penetrated still got 1111 damage out of it um only got hit once i did spot five enemy vehicles i did damage seven and destroyed three 
almost 1500 damage that was assistance damage so really really good game overall for me especially being bottom tier hope you guys liked the uh like the replay and enjoyed the beer review as well go out give it a shot um if you liked please like comment and subscribe on the video it really helps the channel out and i'll see you next time